Hello! It's been a little while since I've uploaded anything, but I just wanted to give you a little update on the last however many months it's been since I posted anything. Um, probably almost a year, unfortunately. I think I just lost the enthusiasm for making videos because I wasn't really getting any interaction from people, it didn't seem like anyone cared, so it felt like I was talking to myself. But anyway, I'm gonna keep doing it because I have a lot to say and it, even if nobody listens, I still want to say it. I think it might help if I um, make my videos a little shorter, so I'm gonna try to do that. This is just an update, so I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I'm gonna try and keep it brief. Um, the main thing that I want to talk about is that um, I've probably talked about Ivy Rivera on my channel before. She's a psychic medium who owns a school where she trains people to be psychic mediums, basically. And I took the 28-week psychic mediumship course and graduated. So now I'm a certified psychic medium. Um, that is a, a pretty weird thing to be able to say. And you know, if if you told me three years ago that I was going to be able to say that, I, I probably wouldn't have believed you. But I discovered Ivy about three years ago, and I've learned so much from her because she doesn't hold anything back. She will genuinely tell you what's going on. And she's kind of like me. I met her in person quite a few times. I actually worked with her and filmed some some of her events with her. And that was a lot of fun. I got to go to some of the events that she was working and just get some of the scenery. And, you know, she did like a tour of, a, of an old mansion and all the stuff that I got to film. And uh, she, it was just nice working with her and hanging out with her. I learned that we're actually pretty similar, the way that we look at things. Um, and the, the main thing that I think I have in common with her is skepticism. I generally look at everything in a really skeptical and analytical way. And um, and I, I have a genuine interest in understanding the world. What I like about her is that she already understands quite a bit of it because she's been kind of in tune to that since she was a kid. And I guess I have too, I just didn't know that that's what it was because nobody told me anything. But she had people, um, you know, letting her know what she was doing in a more direct way. So she was able to figure it out and understand it and then I think when she was only, I don't know, like 14 or something, she was a teenager, and she was approached in a grocery store by another medium who was like following her around. And she said, my ears are ringing every time you're around, and that means you can do what I can do. And she's like, oh, I know I have some kind of thing, but I don't, I could never do what you can do. And then she said, I'm gonna train you. And then apparently her method of training was just, she had her sit down and give a stranger a reading. She said, just pick a random person, sit them down and just start talking. And, you know, so she did that, and she, I think it was, like, her roommate's brother who she never met or something like that, but um, she said that she just talked for, like, a half hour, and he ended up crying by the end of it or something like that, but, you know, I, I just find that story so interesting because it's kind of, like, what I went through going through the course. She was able to design this curriculum teaching people to do what she does based on her personal understanding of it. So she didn't learn it from anyone else. It wasn't like she took somebody else's curriculum, she, although she's had a number of people try and steal her curriculum. Um, and she doesn't hold anything back. And what I like about her is that it feels like there are a lot of people who are dishonest or hold back information or just don't know the information. But she has, like, everything covered, almost everything. And one thing that I also like that's similar to me is that she doesn't really teach anything that she hasn't learned based on personal experience. And I don't do that either because, it, you know, why am I going to talk about it if I don't have any, any like, personal experience to back it up? Um, if I'm just basing it on, like, other people's experiences that they've told me about or just taking someone else's word for it, then it's not really mine. And I can't be that confident in it. When I give someone advice, when I help someone, whatever it is, I like to base it on things that I've already gone through so I know what I'm saying. And, um... What I've learned from her is that I don't just have to do that because I have access to my higher mind, which contains all the information that I really ever need to know. And we all do. But when we're channeling spirit, um, which if you don't know, spirit is basically just a term for um, 
light energy on the other side, you, it, like the Holy Spirit or um, just, I don't know, the universe, God, whatever you call it. But spirit is the, the general term that I use because whether you're channeling someone's um, guides or angels or ancestors or even their dead pet, you could say that you're channeling spirit as long as the messages coming through are for their highest and best interest and they're not just like negative stuff that they don't need to hear. Um, so yeah, we, um, we are taught not to do anything negative. She teaches discernment, which apparently is also not very common. And I, I can honestly say that I haven't heard much about it outside of her. When, when I first discovered her, it was from a video called Fighting the Dark. And I didn't know what the hell the dark was. Based on my understanding of like the whole spiritual world before I found her, it was all kind of light and it was all just the same thing. And I didn't really believe in anything like dark, but she's talked about like demons and actual dark energy and things like that. And I was like, wow, I didn't realize that that was real. What I've learned from her is that almost everything is real. I mean, te technically everything has to be real, otherwise it wouldn't really be part of everything. Um, but, you know, technicalities aside, um, I've learned that both things are true. If there's ever an argument between two sides, left and right, whatever it is, um, they're both right, and they're both needed, and that that's true for so many cases. I can't even get into it in this video, because otherwise it'll be way too long. Um, I'm six minutes in. It's already too long, <laughs> but I'm going to wrap this up now. So basically... She teaches you discernment, and she teaches you all these things that you need to know, and what I really like is that you feel like she's she's acknowledging skepticism. She's not just act, expecting you to believe that it's all real. And, um, you know, I understand that there are people who say it's scientifically impossible to do that, or that it's like you're communicating with dark energy and stuff, but she teaches you how not to communicate with demons and everything like that. So it, you can't say that it's the devil using you once you actually do it. You can see that it clearly only has positive effects. And um, the, with the other argument that it's scientifically impossible, it's actually not. If you do research, there's absolutely nothing to suggest that it's impossible. There's a lot of evidence that it's real, but there's no evidence that it's fake. And that would surprise a lot of people. They'd say, what? But but it doesn't make any sense. I've never heard, it's like, oh yeah, there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, she has a video called The War on Intuition. If you type in Ask Ivy The War on Intuition, it should be the first result, and she explains a lot about that. Um, and there's a bunch of different places where it's getting attacked from, but basically it's, it's not something that people would benefit from taking a look at in a serious way, which is why it's often swept under the rug, and it, it, it's easier to just say, oh, that person is is shady, and they're lying to you, and they're just trying to take your money. It's a con artist. It's a scam. I understand that it's easier to say that, but if you've ever gotten a reading, at least from her or one of her students that she's trained or her graduates, um, you, you really couldn't say that confidently because everything that she does is so... Um, it's it's done so meticulously. It, it feels like she doesn't really leave any room for error. Like, if you take the course and you're not causing problems yourself, you're gonna do it. And the only way that you could mess it up is by just not really trying. And, you know, we always, we have free will, so we can do whatever we want, but there's nothing wrong with the curriculum. Um, so you can actually book a reading with me now. I'm on her, her website. Um, on Ivy's Healing Call Center, which is for people who want a reading right away, but you can book it in advance. The days that I'm available are shown there, and um, you can get 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or an hour, and it's $40 every 15 minutes. So um, I don't think that's too expensive, but I also understand. I know that you know, if, uh, right now, at least in the U.S., things are getting really expensive, so people don't want to just be spending money. But um, if you see the value in it and you want to book a reading with me, I'd be happy to do it. I'd also be happy to answer any questions you have if you want to comment or, or DM me on social media, preferably Instagram, but I don't really care as long as I get your message. Um, and I have it linked on, in my bio, but I can put a link in the description too if you want. And I'll definitely put the link to the website where you can book with me in the description. Um, that was the main purpose of this video, just to let you know that I've done that. And I'm going to be continuing making videos in the future. I'm probably going to start another channel 
that's more focused on this kind of work, like healing channel. And then I'm gonna keep this channel for like discussions on like politics and stuff like that. Cause I love talking about both things. Um, I love challenging my own beliefs and acknowledging other people's perspectives. And I have an opportunity to do that in the political aspect of things. Um, but with my other channel, it's just gonna be focused on being of service and just giving light to people, which is going to be a lot more relaxing. And I think that channel is going to be a place for people to be more comfortable. They feel like they're actually getting something out of it. And I, I look forward to starting that channel. <laughs> but for now, this is, um, this is what I have. Uh, this is longer than I meant for it to be, but it, it did its purpose. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or skeptical or I confused you in some, I, I don't care what it is. If you have anything to say, go ahead and say it. I, I love interacting with people. Not interacting with people was why I lost my interest in doing videos in the first place. But like I said, this time I'm determined to try something different. I think the new channel will be, um, it will, will, will reach a different audience. So I look forward to that. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time I see you. Or I guess you'll see me. I probably won't see you. But yeah, bye.